currently en route to Epcot, there's something new that hasn't been completely unveiled, but just enough that I wanted to come out here and show you guys and see it for myself. Something that I have talked about on this channel for a very long time. Something that used to be at Epcot. Something that I've, gosh, I've, so, I've showed so many pictures with this in it. Something is back at Epcot. Epcot doesn't officially open for another 20 minutes, but I just noticed, looking through the trees here, people are parking. So that's a, that's a good sign. All right, pulling up to the toll plaza. For a Saturday morning, traffic's not terrible. Last time I was here on a Saturday, the toll plaza, the, the traffic at the toll plaza was pretty long just to, just to get in. But then once you got up to the temperature screening and security check, everything kind of dismantled a little bit and dispersed and there was really no one around us. But yeah, the traffic was way back here just to, just to get in. We'll see what it looks like as we round the curve here. Got about 15 minutes till the park opens and this is what it's looking like. Not bad. Not bad, maybe two cars at each little station. All right, made it inside. Hi everybody and welcome to the world of Micah. This morning we are gonna be here at Epcot Center where I'm gonna be taking a closer look and showing you guys the redesign and reinstalled pylons that used to be here in front of Spaceship Earth. Now, in past videos, I've showed these in photographs, talked about them. Sometimes I called them Spire, sometimes I called them the Fountain, but they are back here at Epcot. I can kind of see them right now behind the construction wall fence. I'm so excited to show you guys. If you're new here, click that subscribe button. If you would like to support my channel, down below in the description box is the link to my Patreon page. Now, let's take a closer look. You know, the only thing that would make this moment better is if a monorail would be coming by. But that's okay. The monorail is not working. But I can finally show you guys this. There it is. You can see the tip top of the pylons with the old school Epcot logo on them. Now it's gonna go straight down and there's gonna be a fountain underneath. I'm so excited to see that. Didn't wanna interrupt that guy. There is a fountain underneath. I'm so excited for this because it's like 1982 Epcot is coming back. So we are currently looking at Spaceship Earth on its right hand side. And this is about as much as you can see above the construction fence from here. I'm gonna walk around and see what it looks like. Full 360 views. Once these construction walls come down, it's gonna be so awesome. And they've been working on this whole new reimagined Epcot for a long time. They announced it at the last D23, and I've been seeing things slowly but surely starting to happen here. It's pretty cool. Oh, holy cow, if you come over here, right in front of Spaceship Earth, you can really see them. This is amazing. Look at that. Just seeing that old school Epcot logo, Oh my gosh. I know it's silly. It's just some glass pylons, but that means so much to Epcot history right there. So the walls still go 360 all the way around. Still not completed everything they're working on back there. But man, those look beautiful. Still got a few things wrapped around them. 
probably holding them in place. Epcot is slowly but surely coming back. Original Epcot, old school Epcot. Just certain things are really starting to come back in this park. And if you're a fan of that era of Epcot, honestly, you're gonna have such a good time when you return back to this amazing park. Currently over on the left-hand side near the stroller and ECV wheelchair rentals, this is what they look like from this angle. Pretty good. You can still see the construction stuff on it. You see those little wires and I don't even know what you really call those, like straps. That's the word I'm looking for. Still holding it together in place here. All these people are running in trying to ride attractions and I'm over here <laughs> losing my mind. Uh oh, he's talking again. Like I was saying, people are running in trying to ride an attraction I'm over, and I'm over here losing my mind over some pieces of <laughs> class with Epcot logo on it in front of Spaceship Earth. Uh, I love nostalgia. And this is what it's looking like from the left-hand sign underneath the monorail beam. Spaceship Earth and the pylons it really shows you kind of what it's gonna look like. I'm so excited, especially at night with the lights on and everything and the full fountain in full force. Woo! Epcot fans are gonna be thrilled. Some of you might remember a lot of photographs taken from this angle with Spaceship Earth and the pylons. This is what it currently looks like. Right as you walk in the front entrance here, not a dead on center photo, but nonetheless, you can see what it looks like. Told you I'd give you a full 360 tour. Now this says Nikon picture spot, but I think they're gonna have to change that because the trees now block Spaceship Earth and the pylons. See what I'm saying? Maybe this is no longer going to be an icon picture spot. Because even in the dead center here, the trees are still blocking, but you can see those bad boys peeking through right there. I don't know. We'll have to just wait and see. However, they do have a photo pass cast member standing right there taking photographs of people in front of Spaceship Earth with the pylon. So maybe that's the new spot. I'm calling it now. That's going to be one of the new spots to stand. But once those walls open, you'll be able to see it a little closer. You'll be able to actually walk up a little closer and see the full unveiling of everything. Right now, the wall does take up a good chunk right here. The maps currently have a side profile of Spaceship Earth. I wonder if they're going to put the pylons on a new map. Might have to grab one of those just to, you know, just to have as a keepsake. Not nearly as close to the famous photo section. What I mean by that is there's so many photos that are taken further to my right of Spaceship Earth with the monorail coming by. But with this one, you can kind of see the pylons pretty good. All right, now I'm gonna show you probably one of the most photographed areas of Spaceship Earth and the monorail. And we'll see if we can see those pylons, the new fountain in that spot. It's like right over here at this gutter. You see what I'm saying? Now the trees right there are blocking the pylon, so I don't know. So much is still to come. We'll have to just wait and see. Now we have done a full 360 that started right over there and made my way all the way back around. I'm gonna walk up closer here and see what you can see from the, the fence area. This is honestly one of the best angles you can get with Spaceship Earth and the spires, pylons, fountain, whatever you want to call it. So cool, man. I can't believe they are back. I'm curious as to when they're gonna update this because the fountains there and the old Communicore buildings no longer exist behind Spaceship Earth. We'll have to just wait and see what they do with that mural. But they are back. And I'm super thankful I got to show you guys firsthand what they currently look like. When these walls come down, we will be here. And it's gonna be a glorious episode because <laughs> that's all it's gonna pretty much be about. So get ready. 
All right, I think I'm going to step inside both of the gift shops on either side of Spaceship Earth and see what they currently look like. If you guys want to check those out, let's go. I'm going to step inside Pin Trading headquarters first. I just noticed they have little symbols here on the entrance. Star Wars, Disney, Resorts, Princess, Pixar, all the different pins you can get inside. Wow, look at that. Camera center with the old school Epcot logo on it. I had no idea this was in here. And all the old school Epcot merchandise is still here. Hoodies, t-shirts, hats, even the Spaceship Earth. Sippy cup with a straw that has the spelling out of Epcot. Amazing. I have a feeling this stuff's gonna be here for, for quite some time. And they have limited edition Epcot pins here with old school symbols on it. Wow, that's so cool, man. There's a world of motion right there. The land, the living seas. Very cool stuff. On the opposite side here, it says Pin Traders with the old school Epcot logo. All right, we're gonna walk into the next gift shop, which is Gateway Gifts. It's on the exact opposite side of the pin trading shop we were just in. Outside, they have this little magnet shoulder figment plush. You put those on your shoulder and he'll stick and stay with you all day. The architecture in here is so old school Epcot. I absolutely love it. Haven't done much updating in this store. Still a place where you can get your plush and your standard Disney merchandise. But there is a mural right here of Spaceship Earth and the monorail. Stepped out of the store, not a whole lot of new things, but I wanted to show you one more time what it looks like underneath Spaceship Earth, completely under Spaceship Earth. Pretty cool. Well, that was my plan for today. Show you guys the new pylons here since you can see the tip top of them above the construction walls. We'll be back when these things completely are unveiled. Sometimes a quick trip to Epcot to see something new is good for the, the mind and the soul. I'm glad you guys got to join me on this. It was a lot of fun seeing those things in person. I look forward to them being a permanent resident here at the Experimental Prototype Community of Tomorrow. But I think our adventure for today has come to an end. Which means it's time to say goodbye, but if you enjoyed today's episode, please give me a big thumbs up. What are your thoughts about the new pylons here at Epcot? Are you excited? I'm excited. I'm excited for a lot of the updates. Something to look forward to. And to me, it's cool because it has that classic Epcot feel. I'll see you guys tomorrow on a brand new episode of World of Micah. Until then, stay weird. Goodbye.